We recently converted to fully electric vehicles and now we have new charging cables to deal with. In this project, we'll show you how we designed and 3D printed a mount for our Tesla charging adapter. We didn't want to drill any holes into the wall, so we designed it to clip onto our shelves and it also doubles as a cable organizer. We started by taking some basic measurements of the connector using digital calipers. To get the curves, we used a contour gauge to get the profiles of each side so we can use them as reference for 3D modeling. If you look on the bottom of the connector, there's a little notch that is used when plugging into the vehicle or charging base. So we're going to use this little feature in our design to mount the connector. We sketched out the profiles using Autodesk Fusion 360. We formed a solid model by lofting between these profiles. It's parametrically driven, so it's easy to make small adjustments which will come in handy when testing for tolerances. To 3D print the design, we need to orient the part so that it has the most strength. Different orientations will produce parts with different strength. Here's an example. The part on the left will have better strength under tension because the layers run across the entire length. The part on the right is more likely to break because the layers run across the width. So we oriented the part down at its side so the layer lines are parallel with the load. There's a bit of overhang near the bottom so added support material is needed. Support material produces a scaffolding-like structure that provides the overhang with something to lay on. Ideally, we should use high-strength materials, but we wanted to use this wood composite PLA, mostly for aesthetics. This takes about 3-4 to four hours to 3D print with standard infill and print speeds. Iteration is an important part of design, and 3D printing allows you to quickly test small tweaks. So we did go through a handful of iterations before getting to the final part. We were pretty surprised to learn that the plug slipped out when we added a small fillet to the inner edge. Every feature has to be just right to make this work and even the smallest detail makes a huge difference. When holstered, the top edge actually supports the plug connector and keeps it from slipping out. It's easy to remove thanks to the clearance around the connector. There's also a curve along the neck of the hanger which allows the cable to rest on. The hook on the back clips onto the flat side of the shelving, which also acts as a clamp so it's secured in place. This works quite well and we're pretty happy since we don't have to leave our charger on the floor. We think this is a great exercise in practical 3D printing and hope this inspires you. We shared our design as a free download so other folks can make their own. The source is also available so anyone can remix and modify. <laughs>